Okay, here I want to elaborate a little bit about shifting of sine and cosine graph. I feel this part is important, okay, because um, it involves about our wave traveling direction. Okay, is it wave travel to the left or is it wave travel to the right based on the equation given? Okay, uh, uh, especially when we deal with the positive kx and negative kx. Why is it positive kx? Uh, wave travel to the left. And then negative kx wave wave travel to the right. Uh, why is it like that? So this is related related to our shifting of uh, sine and cosine graph. Okay, in mathematics, uh, actually we already learned this in your mathematics. Okay. All right. Okay. So now here we have the original graph. Okay, original graph is a, just a basic sine graph. Y equal to sine x. Okay, a basic sine graph. Okay, notice the red dot here at the center. Okay, so if the function uh, we plus 4, let's say uh, sine x plus 4. Remember, uh, this plus 4 is not inside the angle. Uh, it's not inside the angle. This plus 4 is outside. So if we plus 4, uh, basically we just shift the wave to the, shift the wave upwards. Uh, the wave shift upwards by 4 units. Ah, plus 4 means, if positive 4 means you shift the wave upwards uh, by 4 units. Okay, if, uh, let's say you minus 1, yeah, if let's say the sine x minus 1, uh, you are actually shifting the whole wave by 1 unit downward. Uh, you shift the wave by 1 unit downward. If plus 4 means you shift the wave upwards by 4 units. Ah, uh, so, uh, if plus 4 means shift the wave upwards, minus 1 means shift the wave downward. Uh, this plus 4 and minus 1 is outside the angle, not inside the angle. Or we can write it as like, we can write the equation like y equal to sine x uh, bracket plus 4. Uh, this plus 4 is outside. Uh, this one is y equal to sine x uh, minus 1, minus 1. Uh, okay, so this minus 1 will shift the wave downward. Okay, so now what if this, uh, this, uh, the thing you plus and minus, it's inside the angle? Ah, what if it's inside the angle? Okay, I just make the, the explanation of mathematics very simple, yeah? What if the, whatever you plus and minus is inside the angle? That means, this time I put, uh, let's say, y equal to, um, y equal to uh, sine uh, bracket, x plus 1. Uh, this plus 1 is for the angle, yeah, for the angle theta. Ah, what if the angle with plus 1? Ah, this one, if plus 1 in the angle, the wave is shifting to the left, not shifting upwards. Yeah? Uh, if plus 1, plus 1 in the angle, the wave shift to the left. Uh, shift to the left by 1 unit. Ah, you see that? Uh, the, look at the red dot. Red dot is uh, in originally for the sine graph is at the center yeah, for the, ori uh, the origin. Now this uh, when plus one, uh, the whole graph shift to the left. Uh, plus one, plus one, plus one means the whole wave shift to the left. Uh, the whole graph of the whole wave shift to the left by one unit. Okay, the wave shift to the left. But if the angle is minus, uh, let's, let's say minus 3, uh, then the whole wave is shift to the right. Uh, if minus 3 means you shift the wave 3 unit to the right. Okay, it's inside the angle. Uh, yeah. I write uh, clearer like this. This one is sine x plus 1. Uh, plus 1 inside the angle, you shift the wave to the left. Okay, uh, if uh, y equal to sine... Um, x you if you minus 3 inside the angle minus 3 inside the angle you shift the wave to the right uh, if minus you shift the wave to the right okay by three units ah so this is the reason ah this is the reason why uh, we learned that why we learned that okay this one let's say we have a formula y equal to a sine omega t plus kx ah yeah if positive kx, we always learn that uh, if positive kx, uh, the wave is traveling to the left. Ah, 
we're traveling to the left. This positive kx, positive kx is just like the plus 1. When you plus 1 the graph, you shift the wave to the left. Uh, so it's, uh, that's why positive kx, the wave travel to the left. Uh, actually, the condition not just limit to positive kx. You can also write as um, kx in front, omega t behind. Uh, it becomes like kx plus omega t. Uh, for this one, just make sure that in front here, in front here is always positive. Yeah, uh, the omega t in front omega t is positive. In front kx also positive. Lah, uh, this one also in front omega t here is always positive. Always positive. Yeah, for the front part, for the front part is always positive. Okay, uh, just we just concentrate at behind. Um, yeah, at behind this one. Okay, make sure the front part must be positive. Huh? Make, make sure, if not, if not positive, you need to change it. If, if negative, you need to change it to positive. Yeah, make sure the front part, you must always maintain uh, positive value. Okay, maintain positive value, positive value. Okay, so uh, this like positive kx or positive omega t, okay, it's just like the, uh, just like the plus one. Ah, so if you uh, plus something in the angle, you actually shift the wave to the left. Uh, you shift the wave to the left. Uh, or wave travel travel to the wave traveling to the left. Uh, but if let's say um, the equation is like omega t minus kx or kx minus omega t, uh, no matter it's minus kx or minus omega t, yeah, it's just like my um, it's just like minus three. Ah, uh, it's just like minus three in the angle. When you minus something, you when you minus something in the angle, uh, you are shifting the wave to the right. Okay, when you minus something in the angle, you are shifting the wave to the right. Ah, uh, like you minus kx or minus omega t. Yeah, you are actually shifting the wave to the right. It's like wave travel to the right. Okay. Ah, uh, so when you plus something in the angle, when you plus something in the angle, no matter it's plus kx or plus omega t, the, uh, you are shifting the wave to the left. Okay, when you plus something, remember, when you plus something in the angle, plus something in the angle, you shift the wave to the left. When you plus something, uh, sorry, when you minus something in the angle, when you minus something in the angle, you are shifting the wave to the right. Okay? Ah, but make sure, first thing you must make sure that the front part here must be always positive. Uh, must be always positive. Uh, so the only thing different is here is positive or negative. Uh, if plus something in the angle, uh, you, if you plus something in the angle, you are shifting the wave to the left. If you minus something in the angle, you are shifting the wave to the right. Okay, so this is all mathematics. Okay, now uh, later on, I want you to look at one uh, problem solving videos. Uh, to have clearer picture on this. Okay, thank you.